Good morning to you on this bitterly cold Monday morning. Oh, I stepped outside with the dog earlier on and I think both of us gasped and wanted to come straight back in. It is freezing cold and it's also snowing a little tiny bit. Um, my summer house here, uh, it's a bit of a stretch of my imagination, but I see it as a icing dusted cupcake at the moment. Um, as I say, it's a bit of a leap of imagination, but uh, there we go. I can look out of the window and imagine. <laughs> uh, so if you are going out today, you definitely need your hats and scarves and gloves. Um, but meantime, I hope you're warm and cosy. Good morning as you join me. It's lovely to see you. Good morning, Sue. Good morning, Val. Good morning, Mary and Brian. Thank you for being with me this morning. So a very warm welcome to our service of morning prayer and it's Monday the 8th of February. Our psalm today is Psalm 27 and the reading is taken from John chapter 19 verses 1 to 16 for those of you who like to follow along with me. So let us pause for a few moments and bring our hearts and minds before God. The Lord is good, a strong refuge when trouble comes. God is close to those who trust in him. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 27 The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked advance against me to devour me, it is my enemies and my foes who will stumble and fall. Though an army besiege me, my heart will not fear. Though war break out against me, even then I will be confident. One thing I ask from the Lord, this only do I seek that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. For in the day of trouble, he will keep me safe in his dwelling. He will hide me in the shelter of his sacred tent and set me high upon a rock. Then my head will be exalted above the enemies who surround me, at his sacred tent, I will sacrifice with shouts of joy. I will sing and make music to the Lord. Hear my voice when I call, Lord. Be merciful to me and answer me. My heart says of you, seek his face. Your face, Lord, will I seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my helper. Do not reject me or forsake me, God my Saviour. Though my father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. Teach me your way, Lord. Lead me in a straight path because of my oppressors. Do not turn me over to the desire of my foes, for false witnesses rise up against me spouting malicious accusations. I remain confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. So our New Testament reading is from John chapter 19, reading verses 1 to 16. And as we've just heard in the psalm in uh, verse 12, I do not turn me over to the desires of my foes, for false witnesses rise up against me, spouting malicious accusations. And we will see that happening um, to Jesus in our passage today. Then Pilate took Jesus and had him flogged. The soldiers twisted together a crown of thorns and put it on his head. They clothed him in a purple robe and went up to him again and again, saying, Hail, King of the Jews! And they slapped him in the face. Once more Pilate came out and said to the Jews gathered there, Look, I am bringing him out to you to let you know that I find no basis for a charge against him. When Jesus came out wearing the crown of thorns and the purple robe, Pilate said to them, Here is the man. As soon as the chief priests and their officials saw him, they shouted, Crucify! Crucify! But Pilate answered, You take him and crucify him. As for me, I find no basis for a charge against him. The Jewish leaders insisted, We have a law. And according to that law, he must die, because he claimed to be the son of God. When Pilate heard this, he was even more afraid, and he went back inside the palace. Where do you come from? he asked Jesus. But Jesus gave him no answer. Do you refuse to speak to me? Pilate said. Don't you realise I have the power either to free you or to crucify you? Jesus answered, You would have no power over me if it were not given to you from above. Therefore the one who handed me over to you is guilty of a greater sin. From then on, Pilate tried to set Jesus free, but the Jewish leaders kept shouting, if you let this man go, you are no friend of Caesar. Anyone who claims to be a king opposes Caesar. When Pilate heard this, he brought Jesus out and sat down on the judge's seat at a place known as the Stone Pavement, which in Aramaic is Gabbatha. It was the day of preparation of the Passover. It was about noon. Here is your king. Pilate said to the Jews. But they shouted, Take him away! Take him away! Crucify him! Shall I crucify your king? Pilate asked. We have no king but Caesar, the chief priest answered. Finally, Pilate handed him over to them to be crucified. So the soldiers took charge of Jesus. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. So we come now to our time of prayer and intercession, so do please put the names of people or situations you'd like prayer for onto your screens. And uh, just before we begin our prayers, um, you may remember we've been praying for a lady called Alice, a friend of Gail's. Alice has written a lovely letter to Gail to thank us all for our prayers. Her operation has been successful and she will need only five radiotherapy sessions 
and then yearly checkups after that. Alice says she felt God's presence with her through everything. It's wonderful to hear from someone um, that we've been praying for and to know of God's wonderful work in her. So thank you, Alice, for letting us know. So let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, we thank you that you've brought us safely to the beginning of this day. Keep us from falling into sin or running into danger. Order us in all our doings and guide us to do always what is righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. As we have gathered in the presence of God, from whom all things take their being. Let us pray to him now. Lord, draw us ever closer to you in our vision, in our lives and our attitudes. Where we've become dull, help us to shine again for you, that others may see your love and glory. We pray for your church, where it can only meet in difficult and dangerous circumstances, and also where it can only meet online. May your strength and presence keep faith strong and hearts steadfast in love for you. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Creator of all that is good, we pray for your world and its peoples with all their needs and questions and longings. There is so much we can never understand, but we can trust in you, knowing your plans are for our good. We pray for all who are providing medical and community support, for our forces drafted in to administer vaccine jabs, and we pray for our government and leaders throughout the world as they work on ways to recover well, socially and economically, from this devastating pandemic. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Father, we pray for all places of conflict, in the world and in relationships where wrongs need to be resolved and justice restored. We pray for the marginalised. We pray for children fending for themselves and all young people caring for parents and younger siblings. We remember the homeless and displaced. Those who've lost their way of life, their homes, their families, and risk losing in their life by undertaking dangerous journeys to reach safety. Lord, by your spirit, breathe wisdom, integrity and compassion upon us. Bring kindness, protection, humility and let your kingdom come. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Loving God, we pray for those in need in our own communities. The sick and the dying, the elderly, the housebound those in care homes, hospitals and hospices. We thank you for the devotion and commitment of those who care for them. We pray for those who are abandoned and shunned because of their illness or who are disfigured or disabled. We hold before you all who are experiencing poor mental health and feel overwhelmed by circumstances. We pray for the fearful, stressed and depressed, the broken hearted, the lonely and lost. We lift in prayer always our NHS staff, all carers, emergency services, key workers and selfless volunteers. We pray especially for those known to us. We pray for peace and unity in Myanmar and the USA.
we pray for Heidi and Michael, for Ella, Kate and all the family, for Alex and Ruby. We pray for Meg and Raphael, Sue, Andrew, Sarah, Francis. Pray for Ben, Alex, Robert, Barry, Greg, and Joe. We pray for Irene and Adrian and Rob. We pray for all the lonely and all suffering from any illness and pray for the healing of Sue, Sam, Jim, Enid, Kathleen and Mark. And pray for all who are struggling with financial hardship and those who are looking for work during these hard times. Father, we pray you will grant them healing and wholeness, protection and peace. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. God of mercy and grace, be close to those who feel the pain of grief at the loss of a loved one, whether recent or as an event anniversary passes. Help us to support all those who mourn with our prayers, with words of comfort and with practical help as they struggle to come to terms with their loss. Keep them in the shelter of your sacred tent. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Thank you, Lord, for all your mercy and forgiveness. Fill us with your joy and peace today and always, that others may see your love in our lives. We commend ourselves and all for whom we pray and love to the mercy and protection of God. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy in this time of uncertainty and distress. Sustain and support the anxious and fearful and lift up all who are brought low, that we may rejoice in your comfort, knowing that nothing can separate us from your love in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. So our daily collect. Almighty God, you have created the heavens and the earth and made us in your own image. Teach us to discern your hand in all your works and your likeness in all your children. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit reigns supreme over all things, now and forever. Amen. Believing the promises of God, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May Christ, who sends us to the nations, give us the power of his spirit. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And thank you all for joining me this morning, whether you're watching live or watching later. Um, a quick reminder, it's Valentine's Day on Sunday. So if you need to get organised, today's the day to start. If you're going out, wrap up warm, 
don't slip on the on the white stuff it's coming down a little heavier now some much bigger flakes and uh, yes it's sticking and covering the ground as i speak so whatever you're doing god bless you go well